The big news of the day. Yes, the Bears is, is a big deal. Mm-hmm. And the Jaguars is a big deal. Sure. Yeah. But the big news this morning in the coaching hiring cycle of the NFL, Nathaniel Hackett, now head coach of the Denver Broncos. Congrats oh. to Coach Hackett. Yeah, Congrats, baby. Coach Hackett. And I'd heard of Hackett, obviously, through the conversations with Aaron Rodgers and uh, media talking about him and everything. I don't think I'd ever seen a photo of him until recently. I did not expect him to look the way he looks. I think the I, I, did, I honestly I had no idea. It was like a kind of guess who situation there. Nathaniel Hackett is very experienced. They've mm-hmm. gone through a lot of his resume basically everywhere on all of the networks. Everybody assumes since he is going to the Denver Broncos, that means one thing and one thing alone. Okay. He's bringing in the offensive line coach to sure. be the offense coordinator. Maybe he brings in Getzy to mm-hmm. be the offense coordinator. Ooh. And at the end of the day, who's the offense coordinator? Uh, probably Aaron fucking Rodgers. Yep. And the Denver Broncos Broncos were linked to Aaron Rodgers last offseason. Uh, their Broncos fan base actually thought he was going to be a Bronco, like for real, like shoot for real. And the sports books didn't know either. They were actually changing odds for the Broncos going forward, thinking that maybe Aaron Rodgers was going to be their quarterback because there was rumors and hearsay and this was happening, that was happening. And they've been in the market for every single quarterback that has even come potentially available over the last few years. Now, Before Peyton Manning's era, they were also whiffing on quarterbacks. So the Denver Broncos, always in the quarterback market, it feels like. And they're bringing in the offense coordinator who has a great relationship with a quarterback that's potentially coming to the market. Are the days over of Aaron Rodgers being a Green Bay Packer? That's what it sounds like right now. It sounds like that was a package deal. You get Hackett, you get Aaron Rodgers, and if you're Green Bay, it's like you, well, fuck you both then, Uh-oh. I would assume. Yeah, it certainly seems like, you know, that's the the main narrative we're going to be here and moving forward is with Hackett going to Denver then. Aaron and Devontae. And not just not just Aaron. Devontae is gonna, you know, he's following him as well. He doesn't want the franchise tag. He doesn't want to be in Green Bay if Aaron's not there. So that's basically already a done deal. But I don't know if I'm necessarily surprised. We were talking about it before the show. I think he interviewed for the um Falcons head coaching job last year. I thought he was maybe gonna get that job. So I feel like once that stuff kind of starts happening, your quarterback wins the MVP two years in a row, like there's a good chance he was probably gonna end up going somewhere. And it just so happens that it's to the place where everyone can kind of link the pieces, like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Aaron's mm-hmm. out the door already. He's hey, already Denver's a beautiful city. Oh, Denver gorgeous. Is beautiful. Oh, it's oh, it's obviously booming because of everything that's ever happened there. Yeah. They have some laws, and I'm not saying that would sway anybody to go out there. Sure. It did make me, th- you know, Thank I mean, God. thin Ponder. air. Yeah. I mean, it's thin yeah. air. Ball travels further. It's a beautiful flies. city. They got vitamins on every corner, yeah. from yeah. what I've been told up there. Deep ball. I mean, Peyton's moved there, I think. Peyton's yeah. like, yeah. I think Peyton is like, Home I love base, this place. Yeah. And he's been in a lot of different places, obviously, with different houses everywhere. He said, Denver, this is the place I'm going to stay at. So... I mean, maybe the city is uh, pretty tempting as well for old Aaron Rodgers. What will Aaron Rodgers do? That's what will be asked for the next, I don't know, 25 days? Yeah, yeah, just about. Is that, a, I think it's about 25 days? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get attacked so much for talking about Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> you think Hackett went in there and they asked him during the interview, do you think they asked him like straight up, uh, do you think there's a chance if we hire you as a head coach, you'll bring Aaron? And what the, I assume they also hired him with – realistic expectations that they might not land Aaron, right? Because a lot of people talking, they're like, well, this is a package deal. You get Hackett, you get Aaron, you get Devontae. That is why they hired him. And maybe it was a desperate hire in an attempt to get better players at positions that they need better players at. But there's no way that is the sole reason, right? And, and Or do you think that that is something that the Broncos would roll the dice with, knowing that he's a good coach as well? Yeah, that would just be like, icing on the cake you know for me but he went in there and and obviously blew them away um on the interview you know george payton the general manager uh the upper brass there obviously you know uh, knew about you know hackett and and being a football lifer and coming from a football family i mean again his resume speaks for itself so i mean uh yeah, no, that that wasn't. Hey, look, we got to hire this guy because if we get if we hire this guy, forget if he's worth a damn as a head fo- as a coach. You know, we're going to get Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. So, um, no, I just think they just look at that and say, if this does happen, if Aaron does start to you know test the waters uh, of free agency, you know, then we we probably have a decent shot knowing their re- uh, their relationship. We heard 
uh, you know, Aaron, you know, a couple weeks ago, uh, talk about those guys on that staff and specifically about uh, Nathaniel and, and his football IQ and acumen and their relationship. So.